What is up everybody? Modern Pioneer here. I'm going to give you an update on the surprise I referenced last video. Here it is. So what I've got going on here is I poured the concrete slab you see which was horribly, horribly difficult. I don't even want to tell you the nightmare it was, but I did all that by hand. Uh, the main slab there at the base. It was like 76, 80 pound bags of concrete. Oh my gosh. Never again. Lesson learned. But uh, I had a mixer, but even that, it took all day. And uh, anyway, it's uh, so it's a really good foundation though for what I want to do on the left which you see in the main picture right now is where my wood-fired oven is going to be. Uh, I bought a really nice kit from uh, brickovens.com. I'll leave a link to them in uh, the description. I recommend their uh, products really just because of how simple it is to, to do it. Um, of course, I'm not gonna follow the instructions, but uh, you know, I have other things in mind. Um, so I'm gonna use their product to meet my need. Uh, over here, I'm going to also put in a smoker right here. So, may not look clear, so I'll do the best I can to explain it. Over here, well, let me, traditionally, the wood-fired ovens from brickovens.com, uh, you have what you have right here, and then you uh, have your oven here. Now they tell you to pour three smaller slabs and then set them up sectionally. So here'd be one, here'd be two, and there'd be three. And then you put those together and then there's your, your big slab and then your oven goes on top. I'm doing differently, obviously. Uh, I made my structure down here, the framework, the center blocks you see, and then, um, I'm going to put my fire down here and I got these really cool cast iron wood fire door uh, things right here. Can't really make it out, but I'm just trying to help you get a picture of what I'm trying to describe to you. <clears throat> so if that helps, all this is going to be enclosed right here. Uh, the door is going to be a little elevated, um, and then the fire will be down there. The fire will be down here, okay? So, I have a chute right there, like a vent, where I can direct the heat up there into the oven, and I'm going to have another door right here, and then my chimney is going to come up right here and out okay so it's going to make like an s where the heat so i'm going to heat my my slab from the bottom and then circulate the hot air through the top all right so why i made this differently is because i want to tie in a smoker so if i want to smoke meats or any whatever i can so using the same system i've got the only thing different that I'll do is with that back vent area, I'm going to create just a simple door underneath. I haven't quite yet figured it out, but it should be pretty simple. Um, so I can close that draft. And then over here, I'm going to have another door or like a, a grate, whatever, that I can control the airflow into my wood fire uh, smoker. So what you see right there is simply the dual chrome chimney uh, piping section that you'd find at, I don't know, your local hardware store or whatever. Um, I bought that on clearance. I think I paid 40 bucks for it. They're normally about 100 or so. But uh, yeah, really happy about it. But anyway... Um, so the smoke will then come through here 
and then just filter up here and then I'll have a very small chimney outlet to create the draft that I'm gonna need for my smoker. Um, anyway, I'm really excited about this. It's really coming together. I've been working on this for a very long time. Uh, this is my first, like, I guess, detailed video on this project. Uh, just simply, I haven't had the time, but um, I'd like to just let you guys know what I'm doing, uh, keep you interested in this channel, and uh, really look forward to sharing my progress with you guys from here on out. So anyway, over here, I mentioned earlier that brick ovens, they give really great detailed instructions on how to complete the kit that they send you, okay? I, however, not following the instructions because of everything I just covered. So I'm pouring a single slab all right here, okay? And then I put my rebar in there for support all across. And then uh, this, it's just the box so uh, I keep my my I guess doorway open for the smoke right there and then this is a cast iron just floor register that I got um, anyway uh, I'll give you a little 360 of it while I got you on here look how thick that slab is good night yeah that, I mean, that that's a whole video in itself, by the way. Just that slab I did. I don't know why I thought, like, oh, I'm just going to pour this by hand and everything will be fine. And what's funny is I did it on Thanksgiving Day. And, uh, yeah, my uh, wonderful family was not happy with me. But, hey, I don't know. It worked out. But, uh, anyway, appreciate you guys. Uh following me your attention and uh if you like what you see don't forget to hit the like button and uh share with your friends so stay tuned for a follow-up video i'll probably be uh next one is pouring this slab um in heat resistant uh cement grade cement anyway all right guys be safe out there and uh enjoy the day